Hey everybody, this is the latest video showcasing the trapping system for the camping kit of the Northern Ranger. Um, this is an updated trapping system that's a little bit different from the previous one in that the trap is no longer sold, rather it is made or created at the camping kit, which I'll show you in a moment. And in addition, um, the, the trap is now a container. Um, previously we were having a little bit of an issue where disabling the bait or maybe even dropping the bait um, was causing a crash to desktop for a few users and um, for other users they were having a problem purchasing the traps. I'm not sure if it was mod related or what. It didn't happen for me but I totally take your word for it um, and I wanted to go in a different direction and based on the beta testing um, folks haven't had a problem with it so I think we'll be in a good spot. So the fundamental difference from the previous one and for those of you who are new to this mod um, you know it's a camping mod. You can purchase a camping kit as well as an Imperial camping kit, which is a more lightweight version. Watch the other videos. Um, when you click it, it's going to be deployed here. I'll hit Setup Camp, and the new feature here is when I go to my extras, you'll now see Make a Trap as an option, right? So you can make a trap and create create it with two bits of iron. So I think this is a kind of a cool feature, and uh, based on some feedback, maybe we'll implement more um, things that can be crafted or created from the trap from the kit itself directly so just a little bit of a uh, suspension of disbelief is needed here let's just pretend inside the kit is uh, a hammer and some tin snips or whatever it is you need to make a trap right so just go easy on me when you hit make trap if you had to iron which I don't um, it would it would make the trap it edit with your inventory I already went ahead and made them so let me show you how this works so if you go to trap uh, my trap trap was the old one I actually uh, th this is gone so if you guys have the old mod just uh, you know, remove those from your inventory, or, or start fresh, and then um, you know, check my mod back off, and you won't have them anymore. So it's now called my trap. Okay. So when you make it from the camping kit, you won't buy them anymore. You make them. It'll say my trap. And unlike the camping kit and the other items, um, you do not you do not click it. So you don't left or right click it. You actually just press R. You drop it. So this is kind of the feature I always wanted to do. Um, now I did it. So you press R. You drop it. It falls to the ground and it is now a container. See, so when I click it, I'm given the option to actually load stuff in there. So in this case, I'm going to load in um, something. So if you're new to this trapping system, the way it works is it supports roughly 20 or so, maybe a little more different kinds of bait. Um, you can do meat, you can do berries, you know, um, cheese if you're inside, carrots, cabbage, pretty much everything you think of. It'll tell you if it's not valid. Right? We're going to click on ingredients. I'm going to go down to snowberries. I know that those have a higher probability of catching deer, so I'm going to click that. So if I click this and I go to bait trap, you'll see that it's now in, in there. All right. In this case, I'm going to hit arm. I wanted it as a separate feature. I wanted to give the user the control of arming it when they're ready or maybe if they want to swap bait out or whatever it may be. Okay. Um, you hit arm, and what's going to happen is it's going to play a quick animation. Just give it a second where it's going to reload, and the thing will actually open see that and then it'll just reposition itself like it did they apply the shadows and everything and there it is it's ready so if I click it again I'll be given the option to disarm the trap take the bait back right if I don't mess up or I could just keep it armed and just like the last trapping system everything else is the same at this point um, anywhere from one to four hours based on factors like where I am and random time as well if it's snowing or not stuff like that um, I'll get a catch, okay? So I'm going to wait the max, which is four hours, just to guarantee that I'll get something. And as time passes, something will come by. You'll see it'll snap, and I'll get something. There is a goat. That just is coincidence, though, guys. That had nothing to do with um, with the trapping system. All right. I'm going to click search. You see it'll load down. It says success. I was able to trap something, and it said I caught a pheasant. So usually the highest chance was deer, like I said. Uh, but based on where I am and other factors, uh, you make it other things. And I tried to make it realistic. So berries, I read online that pheasants eat berries. I've never seen a pheasant in my life. I have no idea, but that's what it said. They like um, wheat and berries and a lot of stuff. So, hey, that's pretty cool, right? And there's so many other things you could trap with this as well. So it's pretty neat. So basically the idea is you set these up. You know, you can set up outside your camp. You, uh, you know, bait your traps. You come back, whatever it may be, in the morning or later after hunting, whatever it is, and you'll have bait. So hope you guys like this, and um, you know, just please let me know if you have any problems or any questions or anything like that. All right, thank you so much, and check out the other videos for more.